Of if you saw smoke coming from Hagerstown Regional Airport or saw emergency crews racing to the runway this morning, don't worry, there's no cause for alarm. As NBC 25 Sarah Hopkins shows us, today was only about preparing for the worst. There was a gunman on the loose, but relax, the gun was made of rubber. As for the bullet wounds, they weren't real either. The smoke and the flames were stage two, but the experience for first responders was a bona fide training exercise designed to prepare them for a real disaster. We knew there was going to be a drill and that was about it. And actually, this one here was kept pretty secret. I had no idea what was going on. More than 10 response teams from Washington and Franklin counties rushed to the scene after a staged 911 call that reported two gunmen had opened fire both inside the airport and on the runway. This drill took more than six months to plan, but in an hour and 18 minutes, it was all over. More than 20 acting victims were transported to prearranged sites. One of those was at Washington County Hospital. The scene was as chaotic as one might expect from a real disaster scene. Actually, a confused patient came and picked up my gun and shot an officer. Organizers say the biggest weakness was communication between units, but they say an upcoming multi-million dollar upgrade to the county communication system will make a world of difference. And being able to communicate not only locally, but regionally throughout the entire system. In Hagerstown, Sarah Hopkins, NBC 25 News. Organizers say the disaster training tests are staged every three years.